Hello and welcome to a very different video for Take One Tech. Uh, this is the hashtag one hour challenge. <laughs> and this was something that was set by uh, Jared over at A Bite of Brownie. I'll leave a link down uh, below in the description. Uh, and I was turned on to it actually by Diana Gladney. So uh, I'll leave a link to her channel down below as well. Uh, and basically what it is, if I just come over to share my screen very quickly, <laughs> show you uh, their, uh, their page. So down here is make a vlog in under one hour. And uh, I thought to myself, well, that's kind of what I do anyway. And the whole point of it is that you have to sort of plan it out, record it, edit it, upload it to YouTube, including making thumbnails and everything like that, uh, all within an hour. And as I say, that's kind of like my process anyway, but it's not quite as simple as that, is it? Because my process involves doing it all with the Ecamm Live. And fortunately, Ecamm Live makes that all very easy. So I thought what I'd do today to make it a bit more of a challenge is actually start from scratch with a completely blank uh, Ecamm Live setup and look at this a completely blank Stream Deck uh, screen. So I feel a little bit lost at sea without my uh, <laughs> Stream Deck buttons, but let me come back to the keyboard shortcuts and I'll share my screen and go into demo mode. You can see the clock ticking up in the top corner. That's the only thing that I've really prepared for this. Uh, whereas I've got a blank set of scenes. Uh, let me just, first of all, get rid of this background. The one thing that I'm not gonna do is create a whole new background. Uh, and obviously my lighting and stuff like that is just, it's always set up in my, uh, my little studio here, my little, uh, basement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this back to, uh, I'm going to cheat and use my original background. But there we go. We've started. We're off to a start. Now what I intend to do with this is to make it a little bit more challenging for myself to do this all within an hour. I do actually have a blog that I was intending to make today or a vlog rather, which is because I've hit a small little tiny milestone on my YouTube journey, which is reaching 100 subscribers. Uh, this is my 37th day and this will be my 37th video. So uh, I think or 36 and 36, I can't remember. One a day for however many days I've been doing this. And yeah, I've just uh, hit that 100 mark. So I was gonna make a little video about that anyway, just to, uh, so I thought that this is a good example of how I can actually do this. And at the end, I'll just, uh, come on to that little bit of content at the end. So for now though, what we want to do is uh, create some scenes. So I've got my default scene there. Uh, I'm gonna have a default scene. Maybe I might have a, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. In fact, thinking about it now, uh, let me just duplicate that scene. Uh, let me call this one main. Uh, so while I'm doing this, I'm not going to give a like tutorial of exactly what I'm doing, but you can just sort of follow along with it as I'm going along. But I'll just tell you what I uh, what the plan is for today. Uh, so I'm going to make a series of scenes. I'll make a main scene and I'm going to just do a little trick where it cycles between uh, two scenes that are in a folder. Uh, so I'll just get this set up now. Uh, and then I'm also going to make my overlays and I'm obviously going to use Keynote because that's what I've been teaching in all of my tutorials. And uh, I say I'm going to do multiple things at the same time, but as we all know, uh, men are not very good at multitasking. I actually don't think anyone's particularly good at multitasking, but uh, maybe that that's just me because I'm a man, who knows? <laughs> uh, so what uh, I'm gonna do is make all my overlays as well in Keynote, make a couple of animated overlays as well. Uh, yeah, I'm already coming off the rail slightly. There we go, I'm gonna set this timer to 20 seconds. Uh, go to the next scene once it's finished that, and then this timer I'm gonna make small. I don't want to embiggen it, as Mr. Doc Rock would say. I want to make it smaller, and I'm gonna put a timer on this page. Now, by the way, this little tip, for cycling between different scenes is great if you've got multiple different camera angles. And I heard about this by watching Alicia Way's uh, demo mode pros in the, um, uh, I don't want minutes, I actually want seconds, not minutes. Uh, I heard about this in, yeah, Alicia Way's demo mode pros in the uh, Ecamm Live community on Facebook. And this was a tip, I believe, by Mr. Uh, was it Louis? Louis? Oh. I'm getting my uh, pronunciation wrong now as well. Anyway, it was in Demo Mode Pros. And what you'll notice is, so that's 20 minutes. I need to change that one. What it's going to do is it's basically going to cycle between these two, uh, um, these two uh, scenes because I've got it set to a countdown. I need to change that to 20 seconds. Basically, every 20 seconds now, it's going to flick between these two scenes, as you'll see when that countdown gets down, down to the... Uh, zero and it will cycle to the next one and as long as they are in the same folder then it will actually uh, just keep looping between them so if you had multiple camera angles and you just wanted to work that into your production so that it happened automatically uh, then that would be the way that you do it and uh, yeah now it's flipped back to my other scene so what i need to do now is just actually add a little zoom effect into this particular scene 
zoom and pan there we go so now when it flicks between the two it'll just keep a little bit of interest that's a little bit too close enough uh, i think certainly for my liking <laughs> i'm sure and that means it will be for your liking as well uh there we go right so i've got my two basic scenes i'm then going to add a screen sharing scene so i'll call this one screen sharing uh, and so yeah coming back to what i'm actually going to do i'm getting distracted already let me move this up here i always try and drag up drag on the actual image of the thing but you've got to drag on the text rather than the image of the scene so clicking on the actual image will flip to that scene but then you have to click on the actual text to move it so uh, let me stick those back up at the top so i've got my screen sharing so what i'm going to do is uh I still haven't told you exactly what I plan to do today, have I? So I'm going to set up all of my scenes. <laughs> I'm going to make the overlays in Keynote and maybe a lower third. I'm also going to grab some music from Epidemic Sounds. And I'm also going to um, uh, make my thumbnails. Now, normally I make my thumbnails in uh, fa uh, Facebook, in Photoshop, <laughs> because I've got templates already made up for it there. Whereas um, uh, what I'm going to try and use today is Canva because I've never used it before. Uh, it's something that I've um, uh, heard about recently. In fact, very recently. I've heard about it a while ago, but we were just talking about it today in Office Hours with Doc Rock. So if you're not aware, then uh, you can actually join a really great group by going to buymeacoffee.com slash Doc Rock. And uh, there you can uh, sign up to his uh, subscription, which is really, really unbelievably priced, to be honest, at uh, uh, $10 a month. And then you can join our weekly office hours calls. And it's basically a group of people just like us <laughs> that are interested in YouTube and making video content. And there's a wealth of knowledge in there, never mind all of uh, Doc's own knowledge, which is vast <laughs> but then just with the people in the group as well all adding to it it's uh, it's amazing uh what uh, what you can learn and how you can grow with others and they're not just sort of half hour calls i mean today was three hours so it really is a great resource so docrock.com uh, buymeacoffee.com slash doc rock <laughs> to get access to that and uh so yeah he's he was talking about canva again today and he's a bit like me being a photoshop guy for years a, a, a adobe guy for years uh, but also uh, just recently started looking more into canva and started using it more heavily and i'd been i'd always thought well if i've got an adobe license why do we need something like canva but it does seem fairly straightforward to make things so i thought today to give myself more of a challenge for this one hour challenge i've got less just 52 minutes left uh, then i'd make my thumbnails in canva so here I am just basically making the outlines of my scenes. So I've got my uh, main scene. I've got my screen sharing scene. Perhaps I'll make one for the end scene as well. Uh, end screen. So like where you have the end cards on YouTube because I will need to get that set up so that when this video finishes, I can point and say link to some of these, uh, watch some of these other videos. So this one, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to change this as a blank scene. I hope you can see all of this all right. I thought I'd just do it all in demo mode so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I am slowing myself down somewhat by just actually talking over all of this because it's definitely been causing me a little bit of a distraction. So I'm going to do this uh, like this, move this over here. And in the end, there'll be just a little... So I'm going to do it basically the same sort of style as I normally do my uh, end things. Uh, in fact, should I, or why don't I just do something completely different? That would be much better, wouldn't it? What's the point in doing exactly the same as you normally do when you're trying to challenge yourself? So what I'll do here is I'll have, uh, my picture here, and then maybe I'll have my two videos at the bottom that I'm going to link to. So one down here, one down there, and then right in the middle, I'll put a little place for me to do my, uh, subscribe button on the end card in YouTube studio. So uh, 50 minutes left and I have done virtually nothing. So uh, let me just quickly change this to green screen while we're on the subject though. And I'll put this back here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to, uh, let me use my screen sharing screen. It's all going to look a little bit uh, bad at the moment. By the way, can you see how the top of this uh, uh, screen here is all... Um, uh, it's basically the top of my green screen so you've got this little white patch above where you can see the wall below uh, behind it rather so if you come into your green screen in your cameras and then just click this little mask edges you'll see when i click it 
like that it just fills in that gap so it's great you don't have to have a green screen that completely fills your frame you can just use that little mask edges feature and it does a really good job of just filling it all out so uh before i go and make the rest of the background let me just go and quickly grab some uh music so let's go to epidemic uh sound of course it's recommended uh ecamm as my uh, top pick <laughs> so here is my uh epidemic um sound library so i've not really got many things in there because i only use music really for my intro and outro this is says more of what you like so what i'm going to do is i'm just actually going to just download and uh, grab these now it may just start playing them because they do seem to go straight into uh... what i'm going to do i'm going to stop that in here I'm not sure that that is much like what I've normally have, but there you go. Right, so I think that it's just gonna cycle through all these as they download. Let me check, how many have I got there? I've got, uh, I've got a few there, right. So let me just close down my music. Don't want that open at all. This is a bit weird. There we go, right. So what I want to do is I want to actually get those tracks into uh, my Ecamm Live. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have them all playing in the background as a bit of a change. So uh, let me come to this one, grab this. Uh, in fact, let me make a thing here. So I'll call this a uh, one hour challenge. There we go, one hour challenge. And then let's grab those tracks. Like this second uh, downloads downloads that one I wonder if I can do multiple ones at the same time no clearly not <laughs> it's gonna be the slow way drag that in let's just get that playing while we're at it shall we in fact if I drop that into the actual folder and then I play the folder hopefully Um, I'm not entirely sure that that has matched my uh, previous downloads because it's nothing like the music that I've got in here already. But there you go. We're just going to have to live with it. Now, hopefully, if I stick that in there and then uh, put this one in as well. Let me know what you think of these tracks. <laughs> uh, if you like them, great. If you don't, blame Epidemic. It's not my fault. Let's add that one in. Uh, I feel like I'm in a bit of a jazz lounge, to be honest, but there you go. Such is life. Uh, I suppose this is almost going against the uh, rules of the one hour challenge because I should have put a little bit more thought into it. Let me see, how's the next one? I'm gonna get rid of that one because I'll be honest, it's a little bit too slow. This one's perhaps not uh, much better either, but there we go. In fact, let me start that again. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, just click on that one. So this will now cycle through all of these tracks that are in here. So that is our music sorted. And we've already wasted a quarter of the whole time. So I'd really better get a move on. So what I need to do now is I need to go and uh, create some overlays. And my first port of call for making an overlay, a simple overlay, is to go to unsplash.com because unsplash.com is where I go to grab some simple and easy backgrounds to use. So I've covered this in some of my other ones, uh, abstract background. Uh, I'm just gonna grab something to use in the background. That's the one I did on my other demo, but I'm gonna use something different today. Uh, I did a demo about that one as well. Let me have a look, something quite uh, colorful, hopefully. Uh, isn't it sod's law? Nothing actually takes my fancy when I'm just in here. How about that one? That's a bit nice and uh, bright. That orange one, perhaps. Maybe that won't work actually well as a background. Uh, how about this one? This seems quite dark and moody music, doesn't it? So perhaps I'll have uh, a dark and moody background to go with it. So now we just click download. By the way, these are free to download and free to use. This is a free service and uh, you can use them in your uh, videos as long as you uh, um, uh, don't go on to sell your, any content on that you've made with them. I've now got that background in my uh, downloads. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over to Keynote and I'm gonna fire that up. I should have probably uh, done this in advance, but maybe that would have been in breach of the very, very strict uh, one hour video rules. <laughs> 
uh, open keynote and let's see if this breaks my aging Mac while it opens. So we are nearly at the quarter of a way through Mark. Um, is it breaking my Mac? Where's keynote gone? Oh no, it has opened up. It's opened up over here. But what I want to do is I want to open up a new uh, presentation. So I'm going to go to file new. Uh, let me just touch that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go into a new presentation, widescreen, completely blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that image that we've just grabbed as a base. So I've got this little preview window. You can't actually see it, but I can see it. There we go. Uh, it was getting in my way, that was. So now what I'll do is I'll go over to Edit Slide Layout and I'm just going to update my background. I'm not going to bother deleting all of these slide masters. I'll just go in and edit this one. And now, uh, where is my uh, downloads? Let me just come in here. Da, 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 there, somewhere, downloads. So this is the file that I've just grabbed. So if I just drop that into there, this is a very quick and easy way to make a little background. So that is the background that I'm going to use for my, uh, um, you see how the music has just cycled onto the next one. So if ever you want to do a looping playlist, just drop it all into a folder and then, uh, yeah, just make sure that loops hit and then it will just cycle through all your music then. Um, so there we go. We've got my background that is very dark and moody, isn't it? Uh, so now I'll come out of my slide master and this is what I'm going to use for all of my slides. So if I uh, delete that slide and then I'll add a new slide with that slide master. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a border. So let me come to my shape, come down here, drag this one out here. Uh, in fact, let me just zoom out a little bit. Uh, I always adjust the resolution on my screen so that it fits, uh, so that it looks bigger when I'm doing screen sharing, but it means that my screen, the space that I have available to me on my screen just looks absolutely tiny compared to normal. So what am I doing here? I want to do a, uh, I'll do a normal frame like that. So this one can be my uh, normal frame. Uh, fill color, let me just change that to black. I'm gonna make this transparent in a minute anyway. And then let me make a border on that uh, line. And what do we want? Do we want white? Is that just a bit boring or not? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think I've got time to worry about things like that. <laughs> the, the clock is ticking. We're down to 42 minutes. So uh, I think I'm trying with that border being black. Is I can't actually see very well. Let me just hide this pane a minute. I want to zoom in just so that I can see whether that even looks uh, balanced or not. You can get it centered, of course, and then I'll perhaps just bring that up a little bit at the bottom. So that is going to be my main view, basically, a little window. I'm going to leave that border showing around the outside. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my picture in picture, which is going to be similar, but not quite the same. Uh, so coming back here, I seem to keep being doing things to actually sort of trip myself up. Right, let's uh, drag this, uh, which way? Let's drag this this way, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, ah, now hang on a minute. No, 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 no. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I can't do that because I need to make sure that the aspect ratio is uh, correct for my MacBook. If I'm gonna do this properly, and I really should be, shouldn't I? So let me just come in here and change the size of this. So the size of my MacBook screen is 1920, but it isn't 1080, it's actually 1920 by 1200. So I'm gonna change that like that. And then I'm gonna hold down, uh, gonna click Constrain Proportions, so it locks the aspect ratio. And then I'm gonna make it smaller like this. And I'm gonna zoom back in, move this over to the other side like that. And then look at that, I've got just enough room now to put in my nice little picture in picture. How big should we have it? We don't want you to, uh, to see too much of my face so <laughs> i'll do it like that what do you think does that look about right i should spend a bit of more time on alignment but as i've already said time is of the essence in case it wasn't obvious <laughs> it certainly doesn't seem to be by the time that i'm uh, faffing and waffling on so line there we go uh 10 perfect so that is my picture in picture uh, let me make now my end screen. Now this is another one. I'm going to drag this down here. What do I want to do for this one? I don't actually mind if I crop my picture off. I'm going to make it like that. 
it's going to be a bit weird to be honest having it so uh, large but there you go uh, I might just unround these corners a little bit perhaps uh, maybe not because I didn't on the other ones here's me talking out loud, loud again guys and girls <laughs> Uh, this is going to be the box where the uh, images go in uh, YouTube so I need to change the size of these I'm going to go to arrange I want to get the aspect ratio again right they will be 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to put these down here one on this side and one on this side and then, in fact, they look a little bit small, they do, don't they? Uh, this is going to look a little bit unbalanced, to be honest, but there you go. Now, by the way, if, you have a, if you've got two objects and you just click both of them, then the centering thing actually works on the two of them. So that's quite handy. You don't have to, if you want to get them spaced equally from either side of the center, just grab them both, and then they'll both uh, have that little thing to lock on to the center. So that's how I've done that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, do I make those transparent? Or maybe I'll just actually fill those. So if I uh, take the uh, fill button, uh, so style, and I'll come into here and take this little color picker, because um, they may be blank for a short moment. So I'll just make those red like that for the sake of argument. It doesn't really matter what color I make them. They will hopefully be covered up. I'm going to try and time this so that I finish it exactly with 20 seconds to go so that these end cards can just fit right there. Um, I will put a border around them though so I'll come down here to my line and there we go. So when the end screen comes up that's where the videos will appear and then my little subscribe button will appear just at the bottom. Now there may be a little border around in YouTube where I can't put them close to the edge. I'm just going to move them out just in case. Uh, we'll see how this goes though. Right, so there we go. I've got my slides. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this to images. And I want to export all three of these images. And so, yeah, all of them. And I want to export them as PNG. Thank you. And then click on the next. And I've created a little folder, as you can see, on my desktop, which is called uh, One Hour Challenge. So I'm just going to drop them in there and I'm going to call these uh, overlays. Uh, there we go. So that is my overlay. So now I've got a little folder here somewhere called overlays. And what I want to do now is I want to open up all of these uh, uh, all of these things here. And then I'm going to go to uh, markup. And I'm going to go to my instant alpha and I'm going to delete that and delete this, delete this uh, and then this one I'm going to delete this. So now uh, I just realized I'm in share current application whereas I think what I want to be in here is actually share the whole desktop. Uh, so there we go. I've, uh, I just did that. Right. So what I need to do now is I need to add these overlays into my scene. So the first one I'm going to add into since I'm in this scene is uh, the this one. So I can just click on this uh, and drag it over the top. There we go. That is. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit of a bad. Uh, Bad overlay that is because I've got massive rounded corners so it does mean that I am basically cropping off a huge amount of uh, the screen so poor show I shouldn't have had the script the, the corner so rounded uh, for that so let's uh, let's just see what I can do here uh, now is that not, uh, not coming off the end uh, now that's a, another problem I created a couple of problems for myself there. <laughs> the overlay finishes too close to the uh, the edge, so I can't actually scale it because uh, I've got these little bounded. Ah, no, hang on a minute. I might be missing a trick here. Can I adjust the size of this overlay? Let me hide my new overlay for a moment while I try and tr troubleshoot this. Get my face out of the way. I don't think I can. I can only resize it in um, locked aspect ratio. Mm. Well, I'm afraid guys and girls, it is a bit late for uh, adjusting this with less than half an hour to go and I've still got to make my overlays. And I also, to be honest with you, kind of wanted to program this into my stream deck and get a couple of other overlays done. So what I'll do is I'll just put that there. 
This is uh, how not to make overlays 101. Can you see I've got the menu bar off? But then I suppose my face is covering it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. So that is my screen sharing one. I've got my end screen here, so then I'm just going to drag my overlay onto the top of that. That is a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> a little bit large on the screen but there you go let me just pull my face into there shall we sorry if you have to see me <laughs> i could uh there we go so at the end i'm gonna have this and this will link to my two videos down below <laughs> when i actually come to that scene for now though we'll go to my main scenes and these are just going to auto cycle and we've got one and then let's come into here we've got this one right well, we're making a little bit of progress now, I think, because now we've got my three scenes. Uh, these, this one of these scenes is zoomed. And can you see how the overlay has covered that little timer? And at some point, I'm just going to leave it for a moment just to check that this timer is working because I'm hoping that this ch should change. There we go. It changed automatically. And that is just because we've used those, uh, those timers. So uh, what have we got to do next? I've got to make a thumbnail for this in an application that I've never actually used before. So let me just uh, close this down. Uh, it's asking me to save. Uh, hang on a minute. Save. Uh, I'm trying to save my um, overlays. There we go. And I'll come and close Keynote. And I'll save this as uh, I think what I'll do is one hour challenge. Uh, there we go. So that has now saved the keynote file into my, uh, hopefully, where's it saved it to now? Hmm. I thought it saved it into the one hour challenge file, but never mind. It obviously hasn't. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put all of these scenes, actually, let me just uh, create a group. Oh, I have to just create the group first. One, whoops. One hour challenge. What I'll do as well is somewhere I'll just make these available on my website so that if you want to actually grab them you can just grab all of these scenes and overlays as well uh, having just told you what a mess I've made of them <laughs> if you really want them you can go and grab them <laughs> I'll leave a link and all you'll have to do is uh, just double click on that when you get the download and then you'll, it'll just load them all into your uh, uh, your ecamm live if you really want them <laughs> and thanks a lot doc rock for the tip for that so i'm still waffling and where are we now halfway through i've still got to make my thumbnail and i've still got to actually get on to uh delivering the content which is my vlog so what do i want now i've uh, lost my train of thought uh canva is what we were going to do it in wasn't it Canva, right, so uh, I think for my thumbnail, I'm gonna try and actually make it look similar. Now what I need is, I need a uh, cheesy picture for my uh, uh, for my uh, for my thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare ahead before I leap into Canva. What else have I got to do here? I've gotta make my thumbnail. Oh, program my Stream Deck as well. So let me change my scene and let me just quickly grab a screenshot of this. Uh, there we go. Uh, what I need to do is I need to make a picture for my uh, thumbnail. So what I'm planning to do is just uh, grab a screenshot like this. This is going to be pretty low res, but how, how about this? So what should we do? Some cheesy picture for my thumbnail. How about this? Right, so there I've grabbed that very, very cheesy thumbnail picture. Uh, by the way, my daughter thinks my thumbnails are absolutely ridiculous and uh, I, uh, I'm inclined to agree with her as well. So desktop, uh, I'll come to that in a minute actually. In fact, no I won't, I'll just grab it now. Where is my, where is that gone? Screenshot. Be one of these. Uh, will it be the last one? That looks like it to me. Well, that is a ridiculous uh, shot isn't it it's absolutely perfect for my stupid uh, oh, um, thumbnails so now i want to come onto my screen sharing let me come and do that so now we're in canva uh, and as you can see i have signed up i've got an account but i haven't actually done anything in it yet so what i want to do is figure out how to do this so design anything social media videos video social media <laughs> Hang on a minute, templates. Let's have a look at this. Whoopsie daisy, I don't want a template because I actually want to start my own. Uh, where do we go? Design anything. 
social media. This looks like it. Uh, YouTube thumbnail. So this means that it's going to be sized correctly. Now I am going to use the same colors as I do for my normal thumbnails. Uh, I've got no idea if this music is uh, too loud or not, by the way. So I do apologize if it is too loud over my uh, my voice. I'll just turn it down a bit just in case. It might be just how I'm hearing it. Um, so shall I come out of demo mode while I do this and just actually show you what I'm doing? Right, so... Uh, let me uh, make a background. Having to think out loud. Um, right, one second. What I need for this is, I do actually not remember my colors of heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in elements, square, and then I'll drag this out. Oops, uh, I've got to obviously use that side one. You'll have to bear with me any Canva users if you, uh, <laughs> find this painful but I have never actually built anything in Canva before now how do I change the color uh, up here right now this is where I need to uh, change the color somehow how do I do that add a new color right so this is where I do need to just refer to a little note to add the hex code in for my yellow color so that is the yellow color that I have in my background. Okie dokie. And then elements, if I add another one in. This one, what I plan to do is, how do we zoom out? Command minus, just like in Photoshop. I'm gonna do something similar to what I normally do. Like that. So that's where I'll have my text. This is where my, uh, uh, image will be. Now which side do I normally have that on? I can't remember. Uh, I think I have it this way around. And so I'll change the color of that now to be a new color. And this one is a 004A61. That's starting to look a little bit familiar. Right, and then can we duplicate it? Duplicate if I, what does that do? Duplicate, oops, I don't wanna do that. Uh, how do you undo? Command Z, <laughs> perfect, perfect, there we go. Hold down the option and drag it and it will uh, duplicate it. So now if I make this really thin, I can kind of get that little double line effect that I often have on my thumbnails. Uh, oh, you can't make it any thinner than that. Is there another, probably want the line then, do I? Let me get rid of that. Uh, sorry if this is absolutely painful to watch, but I'm just going through the process of just actually building this all out uh, from scratch, having never <laughs> used this application. Uh, by the way, if in the future, in the not too distant future, you start seeing videos coming out about how to use Canva and uh, think, oh, this guy seems to know his stuff about Canva, then I'll refer you back to this video. <laughs> uh, we want that one. Right, that is, for me, uh, a good sort of starting point. And now what I want to do is add in that picture. So I'm going to grab it from here and drag it onto here. Uh, oh my goodness me, what a, uh, <laughs> what a shot that is. Now, how do I actually do an instant alpha? Background remover. There it is, it's highlighted. Try Canva Pro for free. Oh, I've got to try it for free. There we go. Yes, uh, monthly, uh, yearly, monthly, uh, due today free. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, dear me. Well, I didn't realize that I was going to have to do this. What I'm going to have to do is just stop sharing very briefly <laughs> and come to another scene and just waffle along while I start entering in this information. I really should have planned a f in front, shouldn't I? Let me try this. Uh, da -da -da -da. Put that in. Put this one in. He says reaching for his credit card. Uh, there we go, adding in some information. I really have shot myself in the foot with this, haven't I? But there you go. Hopefully we'll be up and running in no time. I've got 25 minutes left and I've made my scenes. I've yet to actually deliver any content. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. All right, maybe later. Uh, 
whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, don't need all this. I don't want an introduction. Social media content. Skip, 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 skip. Set up. Right, we're back in business, guys and girls. <laughs> I've uh, signed up to the free trial. There we go. Uh, oh, no. I've just realized. I forgot to use Doc Rock's uh, uh, code. Ah, gutted. In my haste. Right, well, I'll have to sort that out some way. I'll, uh, I'll maybe go and sign up using a different email so he gets the credit. <laughs> right, let's try the uh, background remo remover tool. I'll get a slap wrist for that. <laughs> uh, so, click effects. This is where background remover lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to actually do it. So, how do I actually do it on that thing? I should have been paying more attention, shouldn't I, in class? Uh, don't want to do that. How do I just add? That is really a uh, tragic picture, isn't it? Uh, I really should have been paying more attention in class. Let me delete that and then let's see. Do I right click on it? Set images background? No. Oh, interestingly, ah, that's where I order stuff though. Uh, where's it gone? It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Images, videos. Uh, where is the tool? There'll be people. Well, maybe there won't. <laughs> there may be people. Transparency. That's not what I want. Where on earth has that tool just disappeared to? Effects. Is it effects? That's it. There it is. So click on effects. And uh, let's see what a good job this does of removing the background. Well, it's not done too bad a job. But that is really quite an appalling picture, isn't it? <laughs> now, can you actually change the effects of that at all? Let me go back into effects, filter maybe, adjust. So we can adjust the brightness maybe. Whoops, so easy, don't want to do that. Uh, no, I don't want that either. What's this one do? Uh, well, I'm going to take that as it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do that. So next I want to add in some text. Where do we add uh, text? There we go. So what am I going to call this video is the question. Well, I suppose it is one hour challenge. Uh, now let me see about... Uh, these are all a little bit... Uh, let me see. One hour challenge. I'll just grab the first one. That is, uh, maybe I won't grab the first one after all. <laughs> maybe I'll grab that one. Let me just delete this. And delete that. It's funny, you watch things uh, going on on the screen, but then you realise maybe you haven't been paying quite as much attention as you should have been. Uh, that is not really a good uh, one either. So that is a bit of a better font, I think. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I'm just literally, I'm not searching for specific typefaces. I'll put this as hashtag one hour, one hour challenge. Uh, where's that one gone now? Uh, one hour. challenge there we go I can't spell today and can we make this smaller easily can we do that with a uh, one hour challenge yeah now where do we change the colors of this we should be able to change the colors I would have thought so let me just make this uh, in fact I'm gonna try and actually just make this all white whoops no, I don't want to select that. Try again. As I say, a bit of a train wreck here, but we're just going to see how far I get and if I even get to deliver my content at the end because I've got 20 minutes left. And uh, if I get to the end and it's on zero, then I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to tell you what I was hoping to tell you about today. Um, I am sort of causing myself no end of problems here. That's the one I want. I'm just going to make that white. I'm going to be very boring with this and make them both white. <laughs> and 
Uh, I almost want to separate those out. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is just not at all working for me. So I'm going to, whoops, drag this one. Not that one, this one here. I'm going to make that bigger if I can. No, how do I do that? Make it bigger here. That's a terrible uh, font. I can't figure out where to put the actual uh, background uh, on this, but I'll leave that like that. And then I'll just make a duplicate of it. Right, and then what I can do is I can make this one smaller because it's not going to fit on there. Maybe I'll make that go over the top of me for a change. In fact, that is probably the solution, isn't it? I can bring this down here. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just add my logo into the top. So I'll have to just go into my other folders a minute and find that from wherever it is. Whoops, a daisy, I don't wanna do that. I was just uh, doing something in Ecamm then. So uh, new folder, new finder window rather, cause I've just got to drag this out from somewhere. If I come into here, one second. So what else have I got left to do? Well, I've got to finish making this little thumbnail. Then I've got to, uh, I said I'd make a little animated overlay, did I? I'm really gonna be pushing it to try and do that, but I will try nevertheless, just to see if we can do it. Now let me try and just drag this in here. Does that just fit on there? Um, it does, but this is a pretty rubbish <laughs> thumbnail. smaller I'll be honest with you I don't normally spend a lot of time on my thumbnails certainly not uh, the time and effort as the master mr. Tom Buck I think that he has got the best thumbnails in the business because it really shows the time and attention he puts into making it and if you haven't seen how he makes them uh, you really want to go and watch his video because um, it is a true craftsman at work. <laughs> um, that is pretty poor, appalling, isn't it, as a thumbnail? But because I am literally against the clock and uh, normally I would do this all with a template, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, download this now and uh, save that to PNG, download it. Where's it going to download? Uh, yeah, hopefully, is that going to go to my downloads? Yes, I hope this is just all proving that I've never actually used this before because it doesn't even have permission to download yet. <laughs> wow, there we go. That is quite uh, quite the <laughs> thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> Let me come back to my main page minute now because uh, if I just get that from my downloads, and then I'll start sharing my whole screen and I'll drop this into that little folder I set up. And you can see, uh, back to my screen sharing. Whoops. Uh, there we go, I need to be in that one. Right, so here you can see, we've got my little overlay. I won't include that in the uh, digital download because I don't think any of you particularly want to see that, but there it is nonetheless. <laughs> My ridiculous thumbnail. Um, that is what I'm going to be uploading to a YouTube. Uh, so let me come on to this one. Oh, I've got that in place. It just auto moved because these ones should not be in that folder. That's better. These need to be in the one hour challenge, but not in that particular folder. In fact, they aren't even in that folder either. So. Let's just correct that. Uh, I'm talking to myself here. You just uh, all talk amongst yourselves. Make yourself at home. <laughs> uh, what is that scene as well? That's the screen sharing. What was that scene for? Oh, that was that one I created to make that ridiculous picture. So let's just delete that. Uh, right, let me have a little think about what I want to do now. I want to go and make a couple of, uh, do I want to program this into my stream deck? I'm running out of time, aren't I? Uh, I will do though, um, because there's no point it being a challenge if it isn't challenging, is there? <laughs> so let me come over to, oh, I've not got nowhere. I normally flick between my desktops on um, uh, my stream deck, so I haven't even got that. So let me pull up my stream deck, configure stream deck. There we go. And I'll share my screen again. Right, I've 
got to try and fly through this now because uh, I've got different scenes. So first of all, I'm going to go to uh, uh, Ecamm Live. By the way, Ecamm Live has got to be the best company in terms of having created all of these different predefined actions in uh, for Stream Deck. It's just uh, amazing what they've done compared to... Um, uh, well, they, they've just done a great job, not compared to anyone. They stand out on their own as having done a great job of creating these uh, these little actions. So you don't have to program it all with keyboard shortcuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these scenes. I'm just going to drag a few on because I've basically got three, haven't I? So uh, next scene, I could do it with just forwards and backwards, but I'm going to predefine them specifically. So I'm going to have one that is my end scene, end screen. That one's already defaulted to screen sharing and this one I'm going to have as my main scene and then I'm going to have one to come in and out of demo mode. Now uh, that is a hotkey but you have to make sure you actually have got the um, Ecamm Live as the open application so or the active application. So I'm going to use a multi-action for that and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a uh, go to open and then I'm going to do the hotkey and the hotkey is uh, Command Shift D, but you do have to be in Ecamm Live. So by selecting this open application, it does just make sure that you have actually got it selected at the front at the same time as well. So if I come in here and type in Ecamm, it should come in my list. Here we go, Ecamm Live. There we go. So now that hotkey should work. So come back out of here. So now I've got a key to go in and out of demo mode. That's working. I've got a key to go to my end screen. I've got a key to go to my screen sharing and I've got a key to go back to the main scene and then it's just going to cycle between these two. Although actually I've made a bit of a mistake there. I've selected the folder rather than the scene itself. Uh, ah, now what I need to do, I need to be a little bit cunning here, I think. Let me try this again. Select an item. Let me try and close Stream Deck down a minute and try again because I may have just cause myself a bit of a problem. Uh, configure Stream Deck. So if I come here and I select main like that, then that should now go to my main scene. And if I move it into the folder, it just hasn't updated them. So I've got main, I've got my this one, and this one, and this one. Right, so that is my Stream Deck programmed. It's not ideal, but I've got at least uh, most of it there. 12 minutes left, and I need to leave 20 seconds at the end to uh, do the outro. So what else have I got to do in this uh, setup here? I need to, um, uh, shall I do a quick animated overlay, hey? Let me just do a quick thing to say, uh, in fact, let me open Keynote up. Keynote, right. I uh, need to just put something up to give my name, don't I? So one hour challenge, oh, sorry. Let me use my stream deck to go to my screen sharing so that you can see my screen sharing again. Now, is that not working? It's all coming off the rails, guys and girls. Uh, configure, it's as if screen sharing, is that not working? That's my end screen and that's my screen sharing. Well, would you look at that? It looks like that overlay there now oh, that's a bit of end screen screen sharing that's like it's got the wrong overlay it's all of a sudden isn't it let me just move that out of there a minute and let me come back to end screen and overlays uh what's happening here something is going a little bit wrong i can't quite figure out what that should be my screen sharing shouldn't it i did have a uh, an issue actually with screen sharing in ecamm uh sorry with overlays let me just try this completely again i'll put that one in there <laughs> and then i'll go to this one and i'll put this one Ah, you see, something's happened. Have I just duplicated it and done something wrong there? Uh, well, this is costing me big time, isn't it? I'm going to just delete that and I'm going to make this again. I don't know quite what's happened there. I must have inadvertently uh, pressed something. So I've got to quickly do this. I've got 10 minutes now to make an animated overlay and get it into here before the end. So I'd better get a move on. Screen sharing. 
there we go never mind it's all caps i haven't got time to worry about that source is a, a screen share i need to do all of this resizing again the current application let's make it the primary display i've got 10 minutes left that means i've got eight minutes really to make the overlay uh let me flip these around like this Oh, this is nerve wracking now. This really is nerve wracking because this has to be posted in 10 minutes. And by the way, I'm just going to post it direct from uh, Ecamm Live. Uh, I'm distracting myself by talking. Uh, I've got to add another camera in. I need to add that overlay. Which one was it? This one. Oh, there we go. Stick that in there. This one needs to be round. Well, this is going to be an absolute miracle if I can get an animated overlay made in this time. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I'm really feeling the pressure. <laughs> I'm really feeling the pressure now to be able to get this done uh, within the time limit. And yet I'm still fussing over alignments. Well, there you go. That is just my nature down to a T. That is a, a recovering perfectionist. Uh, but clearly not recovering so much right i've done that i'm going to lock all of my scenes out now because i can't afford to have to do this uh, again i don't know what i did <laughs> i must have done something but uh, there we go so that is my screen sharing i'm going to come out of that i'm going to shut my stream deck out stream deck down uh, i'm in here i need to create a new blank scene so i'll add a slide uh, a new blank slide and what i'm going to do is oh, i need to get rid of that actually uh, right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to actually just delete this uh, or duplicate it. And I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to change the background to uh, background to no fill because we want it transparent. And then, whoops, don't want to open that. Please do not open up when I'm in the middle of doing this. And then <laughs> I'll add a new slide. So there we go. Eight minutes left. Right, what am I going to have with my lower third? Okay, right, well, let me get something out. Uh, da, da, da. let me think what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to drag in I'm going to drag in the image from the slide master actually so if I come in here and just uh, copy this and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste it no no not in there ah, well I don't know if this is uh, suspenseful or boring <laughs> but it certainly feels a little bit suspenseful to me I've got eight minutes left. So uh, come down here, drag this over here. Because what I'm going to do is just pick out a few colors from it. Uh, so I'll put that down there. Like that. Uh, I'm going to use pretty much a similar sort of style as I did for my um, other one. Put that down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this one. Get the color wheel. Where's my color wheel? I'm going to take take that color there and then with this one I'm going to pick my color wheel and I'm going to take uh, maybe that one there's not a lot of variation really in these uh, in these colors maybe that uh, sort of orangey down here or maybe the pink might be better uh, I'm not sure about that here we go again I'm up against the clock but you wouldn't know it it looks like I'm just faffing around there you go purple this one's for you doc <laughs> and uh, then I need some text on it as well don't I so seven minutes left put my name uh, make that big bigger I'll just in big and that <laughs> I've got an idea I'm gonna make this all come up from the bottom that might uh, solve a number of my problems if I put this down here and I'll call myself a uh, covering uh, I don't even care if I've got the spelling wrong on that. Recovering Perfectionist. I should have downloaded a few more tracks, haven't we? We've cycled through these quite a lot, haven't we? So, uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to make this move it over here. Six minutes left, guys. <laughs> uh, that is where my overlay is going to be. Now, should I just put a little white border on those as well? Just since I've got plenty of time, as I've got all the time in the world, why not waste a bit of time by adding a little white border? Or have I made it worse? I think I might have made it worse. Disaster. <laughs> uh, oh no, that is a bit of a disaster. Let me make it bigger. 
Right, well, never mind. So here we go. Now I've got to do some animation on this. So let me come over to here and I'll go into my animate and I'm going to add an effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, animate these first. So I'll have those uh, fly in, fly in, and I'll have them fly in from the bottom. Preview this. So close, five minutes, preview. Uh, I've got to speed these bloody things up. Excuse the language. <laughs> Can't have them taking all this time, can I? Uh, and I want these happening just one after the other as well. So I have that one happening straight after that one. And then I'm going to have my favorite text build out that I always seem to use. So add an effect. I'm not having this building out because frankly, with five minutes to go, I haven't got the time and that needs to take at no more than a second. And this one, let's have this one uh, add an effect. What can we have for this one? Should we do something a little bit flashy with this one? Oh, I've got an idea. I know what I'm going to do. Uh, with this one, I'll just be boring and have the old uh, keyboard. So where's it gone? Just clicked off it there. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Where has that gone? Uh, never mind, forget it. I'll do this one. The old lens flare, but that needs to be quicker as well. Let's make that 0.9 seconds. Right, and let's put these just one after another as well, straight after each other. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another bit of text. And I'm gonna have it like this on the screen. And I'm just gonna say, thank you. Uh, like that. And then I'm gonna also put Ecamm fam. Right, and let's make these uh, bigger. Bloody hell, excuse my language. Three minutes, 47. Thank you, Ecamm fam. <laughs> right, as uh, we in the community call ourselves. And those ones, I'm going to add an effect to that. Let's make that come up in fireworks, shall we? If we're going to be really ridiculous about this. There we go, let's stick that in. That can go in there. Uh, we'll add these after the last ones. And then I'll have that one happening uh, with the previous one. And then we'll have a build out at the end where uh, all of this stuff uh, just disappears. So if I highlight it all, oh, I've got three minutes left. Oh no, <laughs> add an effect, build out. Let's just all have all of this just dissolve like this, boom, like that. Right, now what we wanna do is we wanna have this all stain on the screen. So have this, whoops, like that, there we go. And then we want that one to happen. We want it all to stay on the screen. And then we want it to happen after build six by uh, how long do we want to stay on the screen for? Let's have it stay on the screen for I haven't got I haven't got seconds to waste. So let me have it stay on the screen for uh, five seconds. Right. I'm not even going to bother previewing that. But what I'm going to do is go file export to uh, movie. And then I'm going to change all these to zero. If you want to know how to do all of this, I have done a whole tutorial on it. So I'm not going to bother wasting your time or more importantly, my time with telling you exactly how I've done it. One hour challenge. This is a uh, uh, lower third. It's not a lower third really, is it? Because it's got a huge amount of text over the top of it. Um, come on, come on. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. So whilst this is churning away on my very ancient uh, dated Mac, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tell you about um, the fact that this is my, uh, where's that saved it to? It's saved it somewhere. Oh no, this is an absolute disaster. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to just check something here. Export to images. Where is it putting this? Because I think it saved it somewhere else. Let me just check where it's wanting to save these to. Because it does seem as though, ah, no, I know what it is. Is it there? Uh, one hour challenge. There it is. Right. Okay. I'm done. I'm in. <laughs> I've got one minute left. And if I add this into this scene, uh, this one like this, then it's going to appear over the top. But I don't want that to play just yet. <laughs> I want to hide that. Now I've uh, just... <laughs> 
I was going to say something that would have been very misconstrued, so I definitely shouldn't have said uh, what I was just about to say then. So let me take that off there. 56 seconds to go. So basically, uh, today I actually hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel when I was 37 days in and having produced 37 videos. And so I just wanted to say a big thank you to uh, all of the people in the Ecamm Live community and to Ecamm themselves for making such a wonderful piece of software that allows me to do all of this. I've just switched the countdown off oh no <laughs> i've got 40 seconds left i remember i meant to press this one to say <laughs> my name's alec johnson this has been take one tech and thank you to the whole of the ecamm live community for making all of this possible and i have got now 20 seconds so what i need to do is go to my end screen and say if you found this video in any way annoying or whatsoever then please don't bother but otherwise if you think it's been a little bit useful, then go and click on one of these videos that is below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in a much more structured and planned video soon. Goodbye.